Sandstone. Everybody set? Okay. So last night around 11.40 p.m., Unit 8, one of the coal units at the parish plant, had a fire and tripped offline, which meant that they, it shut down. It has automatic systems, did exactly what it was supposed to do, and shut down. Um, most importantly, everything is secured. There is no danger to the community, no danger to the environment. We have made sure all of our employees are accounted for, all of them are safe, no injuries, and we've had just the most tremendous positive response from the local fire departments to help us with um, getting the fire under control and out. Now, if you want to get an actual assessment of the fire, I'd recommend you call the fire department. I have not bothered them to get information. I was just at the site and it, um, it's very secure. They're in that reflash where they're just pumping water onto things, make sure nothing starts up again. But um, as I said, most importantly, the fire is out or mostly out. They're in reflash. There's no danger to the community, no danger to the environment, and all our employees are safe and accounted for. And again, my, my appreciation to the local fire departments for their outstanding response. What uh, happened at that station, sir? We don't know yet. We, um, our focus right now is the safe securing of the unit. And um, then probably tomorrow we will go in, we'll find out what happened, what's the condition of the equipment, do a complete assessment, but right now that's not the focus. The focus yeah. is making sure people are safe. What happens at Unit 8? What yeah, operationally? Yeah. I don't, oh, no, no, no. Operationally, like before the fire, what goes on at that unit? Oh, it, it, it makes electricity. Okay. It is a steam-powered plant. It makes steam. The steam goes through a turbine. The turbine turns a generator, and that creates the electricity. It goes out on the grid. So I apologize for not no, no, understanding no, 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 your yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. But that's, um, that's what it does, and uh, there are a number of safety features in it, and those safety features did exactly what they were supposed to last night and shut the unit down. And you said earlier we will hear some loud noise. Explain to us what that is. And what we At, basically, as part of securing the equipment, making sure everything is safe for uh, employees, for the firefighters, it's a steam plant. There's a lot of um, steam pressure in there. We're going to be releasing the safeties, which is basically just opening up a vent to allow the steam to escape the plant, and it makes a lot of noise. So if you hear something like that, it can sound like there's something bad happening. No, it's exactly what's supposed to happen, a part of securing the plant. It is. They keep on changing a little bit. It is one of the largest power plants in the country. It started at the, um, in the 50s, late 50s, with um, about four gas plants. And then in the 70s into the 80s, they built the coal plants. And Unit 8 is, was the last of the um, coal plants to be built here. Coal is used to heat the water to make the steam. So it is coal fueled, but it is a steam power plant. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I did say both of them. I apologize. And, no, you're good. And then this is the uh, largest power source for the uh, Houston area. Is that correct? Yes. And I mean, one of the things at NRG, we have a lot of power plants. Uh, it is hot out there. We are making sure everything we have available will be out there operating and um, able to produce power to offset any loss from this. So at this point, we don't know what started the fire or whatnot, but you're saying it's, it's controlled and it's pretty much out at this point. Yes. The fire crews just kind of taking out hot spots. Yes. Uh, could you tell us, so you said there's no environmental dangers, all employees accounted for. Um, I mean, it must have been pretty alarming to see a fire go off Tell us again, sort of, when you walk us back, uh, you said that something automatically. Okay, went so on. the. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. So the unit is designed to operate with. Um, actually, we have people in the control room and they're, they're operating it, but for the most part, they're monitoring it and it operates very automatically. And at around 1140, the unit since something was wrong and shut down and when the operators looked out they saw the fire and called the fire department and started the emergency response procedures that they have to make sure it is safe for them safe for the community safe for the environment basically 
as quickly as you can, shut it down, and get the fire department out here to help put out the fire. You said something earlier that I, I didn't catch about energy and making sure there's enough for... Oh, it's just, we are in a, um, it's very hot and humid, and the electrical demand goes up as people use their air conditioning. The Unit 8 is offline, and um, as I said, we have not yet gone in there to assess the status of the plant. So we have a number of plants around Houston, and we will be doing what we can to make sure that all of those plants are available to make up for any lost power from the parish plant. Anything else, sir? No. That's about it. Again, our major focus is safety to the community, the environment, and our employees. Your name, sir, and spell it. David Knox, D-A-V-I-D-K-N-O-X, and I'm an NRG spokesman. Thank you, sir.